Hello, it's me. Yes, I'm still me. I've been me all along. And you're you. That we know. Well, it is now 11, oh, 11.45 p.m. So, <sighs> I'm allowed to be tired and yawn. Anyway, um, I'm going to do whatever I want. Um, so the kiln. Let me explain what's happened so far. I turned on the kiln this morning at noon. And I turned it on low. And I left the lid open a little bit. And I left both peepholes open until 7. And I did that so that the glaze uh, would all dry and everything would get nice and dry. So none of my bowls will break. And at 7, I closed the lid all the way. And at 8.30, I turned it up to medium. And at 10.30, I turned it up to high. So now it's 11.30, 11.45. And I checked the the cones. I got three of them really close together so I could see them if they bend. Because it's really hard for me to see through this peephole and see three things that are... Anyway, I told you about that already. So, um, it's kind of exciting. I have to go back out there and check on it. And I've been threading the loom. The one that Jen and I started working on last summer. I had to stop my big loom because I ran out of the pink mop yarn. I'm going to take a a wheel down to um, got a brain fog. Shirley. I'm going to take it down to Shirley and she's been collecting some mop yarn for me. I hope there's a lot of pink mop yarn because I want to finish doing a runner all the way up the stairs. That's the idea. So I've got my one loom is pushed over in the corner. Then my grandmother's loom is right out in the middle of the room. It's not the best way to do it all. But because I have that big long counter along the side now for putting my soap on and for doing stained glass. Hmm. I don't have room for it anymore. I suppose there's probably a place I could put it, but not many places. So I've been, I've almost got it all threaded. I've got this white, brown, and green. It's forest green and milk chocolate brown and off-white. <sighs> Excuse me. It's almost ready to start weaving. No, it's not. It's just threaded through the heddles and most of the reed. But then it has to be wound all the way to the other end. And then back, and then to the other end. Let's hope I can do a good job on it. That would be nice. So now i got to go back and check it again. And so I will talk to you later. Bye. i got to check the kiln again. <laughs>